This video we're going to go over uh, pull compensation. Um, I've had a few people ask about pull compensation and um, or actually indirectly they ask about how to do something that involved pull compensation. Um, some of the questions were something like how do I make my lettering thicker or how do I make my lettering thinner um, and that's what we're going to cover here is pull compensation. Years ago it used to be called um, just a column width adjustment and it's the same thing. We're making from what we have we're making it wider or we're making it thinner. In most cases we're making it wider. So we're going to start out here and show you the basics here in the Floriani Digitizing Pro 3 software. Um, this applies to um, the Digitizing Pro 3 and up to um, the higher end um, versions of the uh, Floriana software. So we're going to start out here. We're going to open a new document here and uh, we're just going to put some text in. So we're just going to click on our text tool here. Uh, we'll click out here and we're going to put the word test in. And we will apply that as you can see right there. So now to show you how the effect works. Uh, we're not going to about worry about cleaning up this lettering or anything because we just want to show you how the pull comp works. So we're going to go up here and, and uh, get our select tool. Um, then we're going to go up here and make a copy of that text and then we'll go up here again to the edit menu and click paste and what that done is pasted a copy right over top of it and we'll drag that copy down here. So now we have two copies. The top one we're going to leave alone. This is where we've started. The bottom one will be what we make adjustments to and you can kind of compare the two. So now to make adjustments to this, uh, once we have the word test here selected, we're going to go up here and um, to our properties and we're going to click on push pull or pull compensation um, as it says here. Uh, the default value is none. Uh, there's a percentage and an absolute. Um, the difference is the percentage makes every column a percent wider. We define that percentage. The absolute is it adds an absolute uh, value to the width of the column. You know, like make every column one millimeter wider is different than making every column um, 10 percent wider. And I always like to work in percentages and that's what I'm going to pick here. Now the the next thing down here is value. Um, the value is just how much wider do you want to make it. You want to make it 10 percent wider. Right now it's at 100 which means it's 100 percent. Um, we can go to 110 percent. And um, this visualization over here just shows you that it gets wider. Um, 10 percent I usually don't work in anything smaller than 10% increments. It's really hard to see. Maybe you can see it on the screen. Um, I don't waste time going, you know, 1%, 2%. Um, I usually do it in 10% and definitely um, no less than 5% increments. Um, if we was to sew um, the 100% and the 10%, um, depending on the fabric, we would notice a little bit of difference. A lot of times, um, you know, I'm usually working in the between the range of 10% and and 100 or you know 50% um, or somewhere in that range is usually the limits of of where we work. Anything beyond that um, might want to just consider using a different style um, or something like that. So for our test here, we're going to make it a little bit more than that. I'm going to put in 125. Um, now the other thing here is the max range. Um, that would just tell us if we're working with um, maybe large letters that once it got to um, eight millimeters wide, it just wouldn't it just wouldn't get any wider than that. And um, so that sets a limit. It's not going to come into play for what we're doing here. Um, the next thing down here is side. Um, it's on both, which means the the it will get wider on both sides of the column. Um, we could change it to first or we could change it to second and it might be hard to tell unless we knew exactly how this was digitized where that would fall but in most cases you're always going to want to go with both um, first or second may apply if you're um, if you're working with an applique where you definitely want it to go outside the applique or in deeper into the fabric of the applique you could adjust it there but for this we're just going to leave it on both and we'll go ahead and apply that now as you can see um, that 125 percent gave us significantly um, wider column width all the way around. Um, this would be a perfect thing to do if you're 
um, lettering was getting lost down in a knit shirt, uh, possibly polar fleece uh, of some sort. Maybe you're doing a knit cap. Um, you may even go wider. Um, that column width there will really help um, make your embroidery stand up on the fabric rather than fall down inside. Um, from there, um, as we can see, I'll go ahead and turn on the uh, whatever they call that there, the 3D view, and you can see how how one is definitely heavier than the other, and it would be if we went in and measured it'd be 25 percent wider. Uh, we'll just make another change to it just so we can see. We'll go back up here and do it to uh, 50 percent. You can see it's significantly fatter there. Of course, if we were actually going to sew this, we'd have to go in here and and um, get our text tool and we would drag these letters so they tried to uh, connect a little better and then we'd move this over here like this probably the little kerning there and again that would be um, a good indication of where I would call the limit anything beyond that the letters are going to be hard to use um, or hard to view um, 150 percent though may not be out of the realm of reason if we're talking especially about knit caps or something where you really get a lot of of um, burying of the stitches so that right there gives you an idea what the pool compensation and how it works in the uh, Floriani software and um, hopefully you can see how easy that actually is and um, kind of gives you the ranges of what to work with and if when you're sewing samples um, try you know different things don't go crazy with it and think one or two percent is going to make a difference you know knock them up there in, in at least five or ten percent increments so you can actually see a difference so I hope that helps you out and answer some of your questions see you in the next video